Hey guys, it's Peter Tracy, aka Studio 11508, and today I'm going to show you how to get started using waypoint indicators. I'll walk you through each step and show you how to get results looking like what you see here. Sound good? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is open up the Unity Hub and create a brand new Unity tutorial. We're going to create a 2018.3. And we're going to use a 3D project for this case and call it Waypoint Indicator Tutorial. Save it to Tutorial Folder and we'll hit Create. Great. Now let's head over to our window, Asset Store, and open our Asset Store window and do a quick search for Waypoint Indicators. Here we're going to download the asset. And just a quick reminder, double check that release. Make sure at version 1.25 or more or higher and let's hit import go ahead and have everything checked and hit import again and it looks like you're ready to roll now that our asset has been imported let's go ahead and create our canvas let's right click in hierarchy select UI select canvas and let's go over to those canvas options let's keep that screen space at overlay Next thing we're going to do is change that scale mode to scale with screen. And let's update that reference resolution to a standard 1920 by 1080. And I think we can do our screen match mode at 0.5. That way it just stays between width and height evenly. Now that our canvas is in place, let's create an object to track. Go into hierarchy, right click, 3D object, select cube. Let's go to its position and zero that out on all the axes and looks like we can see it there. All right, let's make sure cube is highlighted, add component, type in waypoint, and there's the script right below. Click that, and it looks like the first thing you'll see under setup options is that we are looking for a canvas tag name of canvas. So let's click our canvas, let's click the tag. We're gonna need to add a tag, click that plus, and type in canvas. Once we hit save, we'll go back to the highlighting the canvas, we'll select the tag canvas, and then we're all good to go. Now we go back to the cube and we'll see that the camera tag name of main camera is also looking for that tag. And by default it looks like it's already set up, so will we are good to go there. So let's click back to the cube and see if we can't change a few options on our waypoint indicator just so that we can get something to show up. Uh, let's change our boundary box size to something like, I don't know, 150 by 150. This is just a footprint so that you can see where the, where the waypoint will be sitting if there's no sprites involved. Let's change hello to hello world and I think this is a good start. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. Okay, so if you're seeing this dialog box, it probably means you're using an older version of Unity that doesn't have TextMesh Pro on it. Let's stop our game and let's just hit Import TextMesh Pro Essentials. This will take a couple seconds, but once you have it, you shouldn't have any other issues after this. So let's close that dialog box. Let's go back up, hit Play, and we should see a little yellow square in front of our cube. And there we go. Now that we have a working waypoint indicator script on a trackable object, let's go ahead and through the magic of video editing, duplicate this object a few times. Great, this looks like a good amount. Notice over in the hierarchy that we have every single one of these tracking objects selected at the same time. With all objects highlighted at the same time, we can make changes using one script for all objects simultaneously. So with all nine cubes selected, Let's go ahead and start making some changes. We're gonna turn off the boundary box. We're gonna go into the text options and just hide that text. Close the text uh, drawer. Let's open up that sprite options and enable that sprite. And let's assign um, something that looks like it could be a destination icon. I mean, the triangle looks good. And let's do like a, another triangle for a pointer, for an off-screen pointer. Now you notice that nothing is showing. This is because we need to re-enable the sprite and we've disabled it and now re-enabling it and you see all of the sprites show up. But you'll notice that the off-screen pointers aren't quite rotating in the direction that they're supposed to. So we're just gonna go click on that off-screen rotate and there you go. They're all pointing in the right direction. Keep in mind that we still are in play mode so all of our changes will happen in real time to all of our objects. So let's just go ahead and make a few more adjustments. I'm just gonna change the size of this diamond icon a little bit and maybe give it like a nice yellow color. 
And while we're at it, let's just move it up and away from our target object so we can see it nice and clearly. That looks pretty good. Next, let's play with the off-screen arrows, colors. Let's see if we can just swing the wheel around and get to a color we like. Red's okay, but I really like that yellow that our, match our diamond. So after we do that, we're gonna play with the size. I think we can adjust this to right about there. I think that looks good. Um, let's add some text, let's add some distance. Let's tell the player how far away we are from an object. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take a look at how readable this is. It looks like you can't see it with the black, so we're gonna change the color to white. And let's bring that font size up a little bit. You'll notice that it starts getting cut off with its text boundary. You can change that with the width option here below and just scale that up until we can see the text clearly. That looks a lot better. Uh, I don't think we need that text description and we don't need to show the uh, distance and text in off screen. So I think this looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is add a rotate script to the camera so that it just rotates around. The script can be also found inside the Waypoint Indicators asset package. And I'll show you how this finally turned out. And there you go. Now you're tracking objects like a pro. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a like. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, inquiries, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on the next tutorial.